What's up guys? I'm Scott and you're watching Uncharted Florida. I am super excited. We just got our very first pedal kayaks for the channel. I'm going to cover exactly how we got these things for an amazing deal, but more on that later in the video. What I wanted to do is do an unboxing, really a cutting open. When you get them the way I got them, they come kind of wrapped like a garbage bag, but they are brand new and we have got two of them. We already opened one and everything's there and it's in perfect shape. We're going to get this one open and I'm going to show you how we put it together. And I'll give you my first impressions. It's actually wrapped pretty good. I don't know if any of you can guess exactly which kind of kayak this is, what model and make. You're about to see. This is the Perception Showdown 11.5 pedal drive. The reason it's boxed this way is these kayaks were on the showroom floor of one of the major retailers and they had to ship it all the way from up north down here to Florida. So these things are about 100 pounds a piece and about 11 and a half, 12 feet long. So getting these things shipped down here was not an easy task. They didn't come in the box from the manufacturer so they had to go on a freight truck once we get this open, I'll walk you through each of the features, what it comes with, and why I think it's a really good value kayak for the money. This is pretty cool here. There's a fish logo right on the side and it's molded in really nice attention to details. As I mentioned, this is the pedal drive kayak. So you can see it's got a huge blade on it. This thing must be 12, 14 inches in diameter. We're gonna get this out on the water and we'll do a little speed test and see how that goes, but real high quality. It's beefy, it's heavy. It's not so heavy that it's a chore to move around. And actually compared to some of the other pedal drives, all you have here for bracketry is this little piece here. And the way this works is you take this pin out right here. And this is the, the pin that the drive can pivot on. And when you install these cranks, you wanna install it with the crank arm horizontal correlating to this blade being vertical. And that's so that you can retract these through the hole. You're just gonna line this hole up with this hole on both sides. And you're gonna slide this pin through and that's gonna be your, your pivot mount there. And that's how you can stow this when you're in the shallows and you need to get out to deeper water before you can start using your pedal drive. They say you need 18 inches of water uh, before you can drop this down. So let's let's drop this down and see how far down this goes. To do that, you're gonna remove this bar here and just rotate that down through the rubber uh, liner that keeps it all the weeds and everything out. And then once it's through, you're gonna push this pin back through and that's gonna lock it in right there. You can see why they say you need 18 inches or so of water. This doesn't come up like a Hobie kayak does if you hit ground. So it's important that this comes up into the hole and you can see it's completely guarded from weeds and seaweed and branches once it's up. You can hear there's a little bit of noise as you pedal this. I think that noise quiets once the uh, blade's in the water, but I've also heard that you can fill these with a little bit more grease and the, the noise quiets down quite a bit. Let's move on and look at some of the other features that's noticeable in the front is this carry case. And this comes off just like this. You can carry this inside, load up your gear, come out here and Strap it on there. It's kind of a hard shell rubber plastic. Come in here, it's got a big water bottle holder. It's got some straps, real nice quality. You also have some uh, mounts here. These are the Perception Ram mount where you can adapt that to a variety of other mounts. Let's come back here, they got these nice carry rails here. The nice thing about these carry rails here is they've got these channels in here and that's a standard kayak channel that you can buy a mount for. Scotty makes these rod holders and they also make a mount that comes down in here and it slides, it's a little T-nut that goes down into here and an adapter that these slide into. So you can have some rod holders right in front of you. That's if you need extra rod holders. This one comes with not two, but four rod holders right here molded in. So you can fit two rods on each side of the kayak. These are very comfortable seats. So this is a Kind of got the webbing style fabric. Water can just go straight through that. So as you get back in the kayak, it can just drip through. You're not gonna be sitting in a wet seat all day. It's got the nice Perception logo. And the way this works is this seat base mounts on these orange rails down here with, with T bolts and, and nuts. And this carriage slides back and forth. And that's how you adjust your, your distance from the pedals. This simply sets down in and you bungee it over. And the nice thing about that is you can take your seat off when it's in storage, keep it inside in the shop or shed, 
and it'll stay nice. You can see the whole seat as an assembly moves all the way back. I'm six foot seven, and this is actually too far for me. So this kayak's great for really tall people. You can get right up next to the pedals. This junk drawer fits over here, kind of snaps down if you want to set your phone here and then slide it under the chair. One of the other nice features are these catch-alls here. This actually fits one of the uh, Plano 3600 boxes, fits right down here and you can get some bungees to hold that. This is your steering. This is what controls the rudder. So you sit here and you just move it left and right and that's going to take your kayak back and forth. Coming back here, we have a huge, huge stern well here with nice bungees that you can open up. You can put a cooler in there. You fit just about, you, I mean, you could fit another passenger back here. We might put the kids back here and just let them ride along with us. This right here is your rudder. It's huge. Look at this thing. This bolts to the back and this is what attaches to that, that lever up here. All of the rigging is through the body of the hole. There's nothing on the outside to get snagged. It's got a rigging up to a uh, pole lever here that it lifts your rudder right out of the water. As you get out to your spot, you pull the other handle and it drops that rudder right down. We are real excited to use this feature right here. It's got a nice cup holder just in reach of your right hand. So we're going to bring out our favorite beverage and uh, stay hydrated as we're doing some fishing. You'll notice all throughout this kayak, they've got these drain holes and uh, you can see they've got channels. They've really thought out how that water is going to flow as you get water over the side. So it'll come down here, drain. They've got scuffers at the lowest point and all back here, you'll see these channels. Those all lead straight into those drain holes. So you're not going to hold water here. It's going to constantly be shedding water. It's also got a nice port here if you need to re-rig any of these steering cables or swap them out. This is a really cool feature down here. Right up by the bow, they have this little recess where you can mount a transducer if you want to run a fish finder on this kayak. And they've got one of the drain scuppers right up in that recess. So no need to drill through the hole. They even have two threaded holes for you already there. All you got to do is bolt on, run your transducer wire up through that hole, which takes you right up through here. And the idea is that you'd then run that wire over and use one of these ram mounts and you could mount your, your fish finder right here and you didn't have to drill a single hole in the kayak at all. Another cool feature of this kayak is it's got a paddle holder on the side. So you really do need to bring a paddle with you for those shallower water adventures where you're just starting off the bank. And once you're done using your paddle, you just bring it over here and hook on your bungee there. And that's going to hold that paddle real well. This is the next unboxing. This is the pedal drive itself. It comes really nicely packaged. Pedals and the cranks and bolts. Some instructions. And I looked up the spec. This is a 14 inch diameter prop which is huge. Pedals in the crank are marked right and left side. And that's important. You're going to see why in a few steps, why that's very, very important. Find the crank that has the R on it. That designates that this is the right side crank. And you're going to take these and you're going to install it on this square shaped uh, axle here. But the key is you need to make sure the propeller is lined up when this is in this position and the crank is in the down position there or up position it really doesn't matter instructions don't say this but i'm going to apply a little bit of marine grease on this chamfered uh ramped axle shaft here and these ride up on there and it's a press fit and you want that blue lock that blue marine grease in case you ever have to get that out then you're going to take your your screw with the blue loctite and an eight millimeter allen key you're going to screw that in and you really want to be sure of all this before you start tightening this because it's going to drive down that ramp and it's going to be almost impossible to get this off there once you put it on. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But on this side, you want your crank up, obviously, just like a bicycle. Now you're going to look at your right side and right side as viewed from the back of the propeller. So this is your right crank and right side pedal. And it's going to be a standard right hand thread into that right side. On the left side, it's a left hand thread. And what that means is, so you're turning it counterclockwise, is it keeps this pedal from loosening up the natural motion of pedaling. If it were a right side thread, this would naturally try to unthread itself. Then we're gonna take our 15 millimeter and just snug it down and you're done.
we're going to install the rudder system. Comes with this bracket that this shaft of the rudder rides between. We've got to attach it. So this kit didn't come with the hardware. So what I'm doing is stacking up some washers, flat washer and then a lock washer above it. So we don't have stainless on stainless galling is, is spray it with Corrosion X. And these inserts are just in plastic. So we're just going to snug them down. You really don't want to over tighten those. Slide that down in here. Maybe I'll hit this with some Corrosion X too. You put on your cotter pin. And these are your steering cable attachments. So these you just take off the cotter pin and the rubber washer and attach it and attach it to the bracket over here. And these come pre-adjusted, so you're really just setting setting it up for the first time. But you can adjust these if you want to snug up the center point or it becomes off center. And that's your that's your rudder install. Overall, we are really impressed with these kayaks. I just can't believe the deal that we got on these. Again, we got these kayaks for less than a thousand dollars a piece. What a great deal. And you might be wondering, how did we do that? A couple ways. One, these kayaks were on clearance at a big box store and they were less than a thousand dollars a piece. And once we got these kayaks in, we realized why. And that's because of this gouge that happened under the kayak. Now to us, that gouge is no big deal. If we need to fix that, we'll fix that. It's not all the way through. And even if it were, we can repair that with some epoxy, no problem. And at the end of the day, we're gonna have two great kayaks. So moral of the story, decide, are you willing to deal with something not being exactly perfect? And in a lot of cases, that's why they put things on clearance. But a pedal drive kayak, both combined for less than the price of one single MSRP, we'll take that every time. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and unboxing. The next time you see this, it's gonna be out on the water and we'll give you our first impressions. I'll see you there.